Hello everybody. This video is going to help us understand a bit more about the use of Google Classroom and especially in RCIA. So let's start our understanding of how Google Classroom works or might work for some of the ministries by looking at what I've done so far. I've created several classes and if you look over here, you'll see the list of classes, Rite of Christian Initiation, that's for the whole process. And then for each of the periods, I was thinking of making another set that could be seen in the smaller grouping. When you're in a particular class and you go to settings, you can change your profile and you can change all kinds of ways that you notify your students, co-teachers, things of that nature. I'm leaving that off right now. Go back to classes. Here you see the graphic homepage of my classes. Go to Write a Christian Initiation, and this is where you see the streaming. The streaming shows you all of the ins and outs of communications that you're sending the students and they send back to you unless you just hide them all. So then within the class, you also have a system of where you put the details in here. You have a class code that you give others to get to your particular site. And then you have a way of showing what you're going to do for grading if you choose to grade and what students can or cannot do in this class. When you have people, all of your students are shown here. And I tried to set up my AOL account as a different student so I could play with it. Um, and I'm continuing to do that to test things out. You can also have co-teachers by adding them here. One thing I learned that is if you do have co-teachers and you have several classes, everybody can see everything. And so whether that is helpful to you or not depends on how you're, what relationship you have with the person you're working with. Go back to classwork. And you can see that you might call this the syllabus. Every time you hit create, you can do an assignment, a quiz assignment. You can ask a question of the group. You can put material in. If you do material, you can add something from your Google Drive, from a link from somewhere else, an actual file off your computer, a YouTube, and then you add it over here to one of the topics that you've already assigned to your classes. By doing that, I'm going to get out of here now, but by doing that, what you essentially do then is for each class, you have what the teacher wants to talk about. So as an example, first of all, we have the Welcome to RCIA video for eight minutes. If I were to click this, it would open up that video. Next, there's an assignment that they would look at and it says, read the journey of faith, Q1, about the RCIA process. And it tells me who's turned in, how many have been assigned. There's been one assigned to myself so far. Okay. Then this would be a PDF document that has the calendar and the process booklet of RCIA. And then here, I actually went so far as to pull uh, some music interludes off of YouTube uh, for some of our better uh, hymns. This one happens to be Companions on the Journey. Okay, so that is how a particular class would then be organized. And when you send this information to your students, you can make this stuff viewable all at once. You can do it little by little. You can break it down into smaller, bigger pieces. What I chose to do I'm old school, and I think of this as a master syllabus. So these are all the topics that we're going to be uh, talking about in RCIA. And I even put in stuff about the right of acceptance and how it's going to look and all of that. So we can handle the entire thing from here. And it's that simple. What I just had an epiphany over was even if I'm teaching in a particular class situation, like the conference room at OLG, I simply go ahead and bring this up 
this becomes my entire syllabus from which I work. Rather than having to go find different things, have them queued up on my computer and all of that, this is actually my working classroom, if you will. So you can imagine, uh, like what I just did for Father Todd for uh, preparation to baptism, we could have the four or five sections right here, everything could be ready to go, and when you have somebody join the class, it's right there, but the teacher would have it available to them all the time, and they would simply go ahead and use it. How does that happen for the teacher? Well, when you're over here with any Google account, you open this up and you go down to the various parts of Google and lo and behold, there's Google Classroom. So if I didn't have anything open on my screen right now, but I simply went to here and clicked on Classroom, my classes, all of these right here, would immediately come up and then I can go work with them. That's why I've said in the past, using the Google Suite for so many things makes so much sense in tying everything together. So that's how it works. And um, now, I think, one of the discussions that we should have uh, is, let's just say we chose to use RCIA as the, quote, guinea pig, unquote, for how this might be used. You can go anywhere from having most everything be this online, and then perhaps every so often using Zoom to have a meeting with the class members, or you could say, I'm going to use this as my syllabus and always meet with folks two times a week, personally. Or you could say, especially with the issue of the virus and that, that I'm going to go ahead and do everything through here, but I'm going to stop every so many weeks. And I'm either going to have a Zoom conference or I'm going to meet personally with these folks to continue the catechesis. Now, of course, the one thing that isn't part of this when you're only teaching online is that you're not building the prayer life that well. We'll have prayers in here, we'll have music interludes and all of that, but it won't be the same as if uh, the, the facilitator was sitting there and going through it with them personally and having their body language in it and all of that. So that's needs to be addressed and it needs to be overlaid in this entire conversation to determine uh, how we want to mix and match and use this together. But I hope you can see that it is extremely simple to use. However, it is very time consuming to the first time load in all of the content. And like so many things that we've done before, we have all the ideas, we have all of the outlines, we have the structure, but we don't have the ministry folks who want to devote literally hours to put in the content and use it. Uh, I've done that, and since it's here for our CIA, we can go ahead and use this and me as a guinea pig for where we might want to go from now on. Hope that helps a lot. Now we can move on with a discussion deciding what to do. Thanks, everybody. Mm -hmm.